Yes. Is that a real piece of iron? What are you speaking of? Of that piece of the rock right there. Is that a real piece of iron? This here? Yeah. Oh, this, that's the, an actual piece from the Saga's Iron Works, yes. This is actually actual raw material called bog iron that comes from the bottom of a bog. <coughs> and how do you get from that rock to something like the things that are hanging right there? Well, you would have to smelt this in a smelting furnace. Well, and what that means is you would heat, these, heat this rock up to a, to a degree where the iron ore would leach out, drip down to the bottom of the furnace, okay? and be poured off <coughs> a piglet, okay? You, you call it a pig, okay? You pull the plug on the pig, you would fill up, fill up the piglets, okay, which are little ingots of iron, pure iron, okay? That was solidified, and you pick up the whole rack, all these pieces of pigs on, and that would be your, your first piece of raw material. Hmm. Empty out the slag, which is empty uh, material that has no iron left in it, refill it, do the process over and over again until you finally fill up more pigs again, and more pigs, and more pigs, and more pigs, until you had a whole corral of pigs. And that's basically what you do. Have you or a customer ever gotten burned, like, third degree? <laughs> that would be a yes. <laughs> I burn myself on a daily basis. I have no feeling in my fingertips, absolutely white, none whatsoever, anymore. After years and years of, I mean, constantly, constantly burning yourself, you know. After a while, you just go, oh, not again, not again. <laughs> and so it, it becomes a regular, a regular uh, routine thing to burn yourself. As did the women that worked in the houses, okay. Their, their dresses dragged on the ground. You can't be constantly pulling your dresses up wearing it. You sashay around, okay? And you go through the ashes, okay? Which had hot sparks in them sometimes. One of the most feared things for a woman in a cottage was to catch fire. If they caught fire and, and got seriously injured, they'd not, they put mud on it. Okay? And we know now that, that that's not a good idea to put mud on things. Yeah. <laughs> and they would just re infect themselves even more so the skin, the blister would break and become more infected. And what happened to them when they got an infection is, we all know what happens when it gets too bad now, don't we? They just cut it off. So you had a lot of women that would get seriously injured and have no recourse but to cut them, whatever the thing was, off. You had a lot of gangly women trying to cook your stew.